So in space notes, we're going to take a look at how the perimeter and area of two similar polygons are affected based on your scale factor or your similarity ratio. I made it easy, so we're going to discover the relationship using a triangle, but I could have used a pentagon, a hexagon, you know, octagon, a rectangle, rhombus, whatever uh, polygon. But I chose the triangle just because it's easy or short to find the area and perimeter. So let's actually, when we draw DEF similar to ABC, let's use a scale factor of three. So go ahead and sketch a triangle similar to ABC with a scale factor of three. You, we could use a compass, right? We can measure the length of AB and then copy it three times. So B from the similarity statement is congruent to E. So E goes here. And that's three times scale factor of three, three times as long. So this is going to be nine inches. And then A is congruent to D. And D, F is going to be 4 times 3, 12 inches with the hypotenuse, 5 times 3, 15 inches. What is the ratio of similitude or the similarity ratio? I said a scale factor of 3, so the ratio is the reciprocal of 3, which is 1 third or 1 to 3. Let's, find the, let's take a minute to calculate in part B. Find the perimeter of each triangle. So actually, I'm going to go up and number this triangle 2 and triangle 1 for my work. So moving it down, the perimeter of triangle 1 was the 3, 4, 5. So 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. And what's the perimeter of triangle 2? So that's the 9 plus 12 plus 15. 12 and 15 is 27 plus 9, 36. Is the ratio of the perimeters. So if I look at the ratio again of triangle 1 to 2, is the ratio of the perimeters equal to the similarity ratio? Yes. yes. So that reduces to one third. Yes. So we just discovered that for any polygon, again, we just looked at the triangles, the similarity ratio is the same as the ratio of the perimeters. Now let's calculate the area. So the area of triangle one is one half base times height. What's the base and height of triangle one? Three and four. So one half of three by four. And then the area of triangle two is one half of nine by twelve. Half of four is two, and two times three is six. Half of twelve is six, and six times nine is now, is the ratio of the areas equal to the similarity ratio? What does that reduce to? 6 54ths, 1 ninth. So it's not the same. But do you see the relationship with, or can you take a guess on what we do to the similarity ratio to get the ratio of areas? Go to 1 to 1 and then 3 to 9. Does anyone see it? What do we do? We square it. Yep. One third squared equals 1 ninth. So on the back, uh, on the top part, is just a summary of what we've discovered. And the theorem states that given two similar polygons, the ratio of their perimeter is equal to the ratio of their corresponding sides. 
the ratio of the areas is equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding sides. So we have to add an exponent of 2. Here's another example. It's kind of blurry. Okay, so it starts with a similar ratio of 1 to 2. So the perimeter ratio is also 1 to 2. And then the area ratio is 1 to 2 squared from 1 to 4. Okay. The last part of that table, it says since the similarity ratio is equal to the ratio of the perimeters, does that mean the ratio of the perimeters is equal to the ratio of the areas? The similarity ratio is equal to the ratio of the perimeters. Is the ratio of the perimeters equal to the ratio of the areas? They're not equal. You have to, as it said up here, square the similarity ratio to get the ratio of the areas. So we would have to, if we're looking at just perimeter and area, we would have to square the ratio of the perimeters to get the ratio of the areas as well. Okay. So in example one, the ratio of the corresponding medians of two similar polygons is 8 to 5. Find the ratio of their perimeters. So what is the ratio of the perimeters if the ratio of the corresponding medians? So when they tell you this, this is the similarity ratio, okay, the ratio of the corresponding medians. So therefore, the ratio of the perimeters is also 8 to 5. Let's draw a picture for number two. Corresponding sides of two similar triangles are 6 and 15. The perimeter of the smaller triangle is 22. What is the perimeter of the larger triangle? So I'm going to call the perimeter X. So given the ratio of the corresponding sides, that's telling me what the similarity ratio is. So the similarity ratio is 6 to 15. And that's equal to the ratio of perimeters, which is 22 over x. Now, I'll often, and you may see me and my answer keys, reduce the fraction 6 fifteenths, which reduces to what? And instead of using 6 to 15, I will use 2 to 3 because I don't have the calculator possibly. The numbers are much smaller to work with. 3 times 22. Oh, yeah. Kind of just went with what I heard. Whoops, no. Scroll down. 2, let's just go over it. 2 fifths is right. Because 3 goes into 6 twice. 3 goes into 15 five times. And 5 times 22, well, 5 times 20 is 100. So 110 equals 2x divided by 2, and x is 55. So what is the perimeter of the larger triangle? 55 centimeters. And draw your picture for number three. All right, so we have two similar triangles here. In inches, the sides of the smaller triangle are 4, 6, and 8. If the perimeter of the larger triangle is 27, find the length of the shorter side of the larger triangle. So the length of the shorter side of this larger triangle has to correspond with the length of the shorter side of the smaller. 
So 4 to x, I'll let this side be x, equals, similar ratio is the same as the ratio of the perimeters, and we can calculate the perimeter here, 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 8, 18. So 4 to x equals 18 to 27. And you can also reduce to 18 27 and work with a smaller number. Or you can grab a calculator. Um, 4 times 7, 28, carry the 2, it's 108. 108 divided by 18. X equals 6. Find the length of the shortest side of the larger triangle, 6 inches. The next one's a quick question. Find the ratio of the areas of two similar polygons in which the ratio of a pair of corresponding altitudes is 4 to 1. So if they tell you the ratio of a pair of corresponding altitudes, again, that's your similarity ratio. So to get the ratio of the areas, you just square the given ratio. So 4 squared to 1 squared is 16 to 1. And 5, the areas of two similar triangles are 25 and 9. I'm going to draw some triangles. Area is 25. Smaller one, area is 9. If the length of a side of the larger triangle is 20, so I'll put that here. Find the length of the corresponding side of the smaller triangle, x. With areas, the ratio of the corresponding side of the similarity ratio is not the same as the ratio of the perimeters. And conceptually, it might help to write this out first. Um, we have 20 to x, our similarity ratio. The theorem says we need to square this in order to get the ratio of the areas, which is 25 to 9. You could set it up um, so that you don't have to take the square root and show the plus and minus. So we would take the square root of 20 over x squared, you get 20 over x equals the square root of 25 ninths. Square root of 25, 5, square root of 9, 3. So now when you cross multiply, we have 5x equals 60, divide by 5, and x is 12. So it's 12 centimeters. One way to help you remember this is that perimeter, your units don't change. So the ratio is equal, right? It stays the same. With area, your units are measured in square units, so we have to square the similarity ratio. Next class in the day of your quiz, we're going to take a look at the ratio of surface areas and volumes. And since volume is measured in cubic inches, we would take the similarity ratio and cube it to get the ratio of volumes. So it's one way to help you remember what to do with that similarity ratio. Surface area is an area, so you would just square it. So the last question, um, given the ratio of two corresponding sides of the two similar triangles, we have to find both the perimeter and the area. So I'm going to make a table or a t-chart. Our similarity ratio is 16 to 20. But I want to work with some smaller numbers. So what is 16 20ths, the greatest common factor of 4, 4 fifths? So I'm going to work with 4 fifths. Um, the perimeter of the triangle, R, uh, S, T is 36. I'm going to call this perimeter X and the area Y. 
So I know that the similarity ratio of four-fifths equals the ratio of perimeters. So left to right, four to five equals 36x. And then for area, we have to take that similarity ratio and square it to get the ratio of the areas. So 48 to y. So now I have 4x equals 5 times 36. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry the 3. 15 plus 3. What do we get? 5 times 36. 180. 180 divided by 4. 45. So our perimeter is 45. And on the right side, we need to do, um, without rewriting it, well, I guess I will. So it's 16. I was going to just do the math without actually squaring. So 16 to 25 equals 48 to y. So 16y equals 25 times 48 is 1,200. Divide by 16, and y is 75. So the area is 75 square 